Recently, I added an electric water pump to our mini camper van. Previously, we had been using a manual pump uh, faucet for our sink and uh, decided it might be nice to have an electric pump. So uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in this video giving more details on what I did. Here's a quick tour of the components I'm looking at for our uh, water upgrade. Uh, we're going to do a pressurized system to service the bathroom up front and the kitchen out back. So uh, we're going to go with this Seaflow pump. Uh, it's a small unit, uh, 1.2 gallons per minute, uh, 35 psi max pressure. Should be good enough for, for this small van. So I want to mount this to uh, a board using uh, some pipe insulation that I've cut off to, uh, I'm going to wrap each foot uh, secure to the board, which would be like this, with uh, big washers and screws and, and not make it tight, but it, it won't be able to go anywhere, but it'll be able to uh, freely vibrate and not transmit it to hard mounted surfaces and make some noise. So I'm hoping this will turn out pretty quiet. Uh, bathroom sink, uh, gonna go with this faucet. Uh, gonna tie the hot and cold lines together into a T so that we don't, it doesn't matter where the lever is when we turn it on. And out back for the kitchen sink, gonna use this, sp this uh, sink sprayer. We'll mount it above the sink. We'll have a shower hose to it and that way we can move it around and use it in other locations than just the sink. So uh, what else? Uh, a lot of fittings. I've got a, a bunch of brass fittings that I've collected over time. So I'm gonna make most of the system from uh, some pieces I have. It's probably overkill, but um, I got the parts. I'm gonna use them. Uh, pick this up at local thrift store. We're lucky we have a, a tool thrift store that has uh, electrical parts, plumbing parts, tools, uh, fasteners, all sorts of stuff. And so picking up, you know, like this little guy, brand new, two bucks. The shower hose, brand new for three bucks. Um, a few other little bits. So uh, let's see what I can come up with. The insulation on the feet, uh, working out pretty nicely. So I've got three done. Um, one left to do so far, you know, so it, it's free to move around, but it's also pretty solid. So this last one, um, it's going to go in here. Uh, I'm going to tuck that underneath like that and bring it in about like that and pop the screw down into the hole. like that. Okay, I've got the tubing to the back spray head uh, mounted up. It's secured to the bottom of the bed frame. So it just runs along the back section, makes a turn along the long section here. And then I've got a spool of material to tie into the pump area. I'm gonna work on that next. This is a compression fitting here that takes, uh, I think it's three eighths inch compression fitting uh, that are on the supply lines. And you can't see it, but there's a compression fitting here for also three eighths inch. Uh, and this is a braided, inside here is a braided, and I can pull it back a little bit. You can see a 
<clears throat> braided supply line that comes down to, I believe, half inch uh, pipe thread. And this is a adapter to go from half inch to three eighths inch pipe thread, which has a bar fitting, a three eighths bar fitting on this right side. So this the final adapter allows me to connect this uh, half inch OD, three eighths ID polyethylene tubing. The pump has input and output ports that are three eighths inch OD barbed fittings. So both of these supply lines, this is the unpressurized side coming from the tank, and this is the output pressurized, have 3 8 inch IDs, and they're simply clamped onto the barbed fittings. One of the features I added here was to make it easier to disassemble the major modules. Like when I remove the camper components from the van, I want to be able to separate the water lines and leave uh, one side with the vanity side and then this line goes back to the uh, main base unit and have that separate. Rather than undo lines and unscrew stuff, uh, I just wanted a, a quick coupling. So I used a, a brass uh, quick coupling here. Uh, it's used in compressed air systems. It can be used for water and uh, it, it simply disconnects like this. I'm going to put a little towel under here to catch a drip. <clears throat> I'm um, going to release some pressure in the sink above. All right, and then this is simply pulled back on this collar, and this comes out, and then you can drain it out below. One thing we found pretty quickly with the electric pump is you use a lot more water. Uh, we kind of expected that, but uh, with the pump going, you wash, brushing your teeth and washing your hands and doing other stuff. Uh, the water, you're just using a lot more water. So this uh, small two gallon gray water tank uh, gets full pretty quick and have to empty it more frequently. I may get something bigger, but um, I kind of like the idea that I've got this, this nagging thing below that forces me to keep an eye on it and not just forget about it if it takes forever to fill up so we'll see the new faucet's nice to have it's makes everything easier uh with the hand pump uh you know it takes uh, a bit of time to get the amount of water you need now you get more water than you need right away so we do need to be careful about using too much water but i mounted the switch right here so that um it's really easy to get to and uh, the light's on to remind us it's on. I can leave it on all the time. Uh, it, the pump only runs when pressure drops when you open a faucet. But uh, if we're not gonna use it for a while, I like to just leave it off. You can see the, the back of the power switch that I added for the pump. It's just a, a simple toggle switch, um, but it's easy to get to from Obviously, from the inside, but it's also easy to get to from the outside. So if I'm in back, I can come around to this side of the van, just reach over, and I can hit the switch right there. I'm back and forth. Here you can get an idea of what's going on with the water system. So I've got a little support tray for this spray head to just sit in nice and tight. This is just a PVC electrical conduit, a uh, little piece. And so this comes out, <clears throat> this is a, I think a six foot length. You could uh, clamp it high, take a cold shower, or, you know, if you've got a dirty mountain bike or a dirty dog, you can uh, hose them off and just drop it into its mount there. So it looks like like that, you turn it on. I like to rest the hose and, and uh, if there's any water, it can drip into this tray. This tray I just made from a, a yard sign. You know, right now it's uh, leading up to election day and there's a lot of these yard signs around, these corrugated plastic yard signs that get tossed out. So I, I grab them when I see them uh, being tossed out and 
you, they're really useful for all sorts of non-structural projects where you need some flat material. So that's uh, that. Um, so you can kind of see the, the elbow and then the final clamps for securing this whole system. Well, that was kind of a quick overview of the plumbing changes I made. Uh, hopefully it was interesting, and if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.